Hello everyone. So gate 2023 is over and I hope yesterday your exam went well and we'll be waiting for the response sheet to give you better solutions for all the questions. But meanwhile, let's talk about how these two papers were. Civil is the only gate exam left in which we have two sets at this point. So we'll be seeing the normalization. But let's talk about how these two papers were. So for the first or the morning paper, we had 34 MCQs that is multiple choice questions then the numerical answer type 22 and 9 MSQ so MSQ in both the sets have come much more or we can say at least relatively more than the other branches that definitely increases the difficulty of the paper then if we talk about the overall difficulty so you see here what we have heard so far from our students also so they are saying that the paper was slightly tougher in the second set here you can see 11 msqs are there 19 nats and 35 mcqs and another part that questions are a bit on the tougher side in the set 2 or afternoon paper maths we have what we have heard so far there were questions that generally are not asked in civil they are there if you solve the previous year questions for gate from all the branches which is what we generally suggest but Generally, you don't expect such questions, but this is gate. You have to keep in mind that anything can be asked and we can expect a bit in the change in the way they ask questions. So the basic, I mean, this is the basic breakdown, whatever we have heard so far. The second set is on the tougher side, but until overall questions, all the questions are not available because it is possible that some part of the paper in morning shift some questions were tougher and in the afternoon shift overall some other questions were tougher so there it is possible that there may not be that much of a difference when it comes to the final calculation but all that we can only say when we have the proper detail other than that the question the topics that we generally see that is geotechnical engineering environment these questions are still they, you have the highest weightage as you have always seen these questions in both the sets were asked and hydrology irrigation so I think hydrology had bit more difficult question or conceptual question in the set 1 whereas set 2 was on the easier side from whatever we have heard so far and questions were generally asked from all the topics we'll be coming with the proper solutions once we have the response sheet out and we can talk about how the papers exactly were and what are the questions that you should be keeping in mind and meanwhile i would like to hear from you how your paper went and if you have any particular question or doubt that you remember from the paper you can mail it to us or you can write it in the comments we'll be we'll try to answer it for you and if you are preparing for GATE 2024, I would suggest that you start your preparation right away. GATE, as you can see over these recent years, it is showing some changes. It is not exactly how it was 5 years ago or 10 years ago. So, And if you want to score well in this exam, then you need to make sure that you give it sufficient time. I know students who start in July, October and that kind of becomes late. I'm sure you can still, I mean, you have the potential that even if you started in July, you would finish the syllabus, but it causes the problems. Now what is happening, Gate is asking some questions which are not on the surface level or which are not in your PYQs or frequently asked questions. I would say that the concept may still be there in the PYQs, but you will be like, this is not the topic that they generally ask and which is what my opinion would also be. But as the times are changing, GATE is introducing more questions that they had never asked. Like for environment this year, it was seen. So you need to keep that in mind. And to prepare for such an exam, you need to make sure you have an early start. And it is a vast syllabus. So if you start early, it, you would have a much better chance at scoring what you actually want to score in this exam. So this is it for today. And uh, once we have the, as I said, once we have the response sheet, we'll be coming with the solutions. And if you have any queries, you can reach out to us and we'll be able to help you with that.